afternoon we've just parked up on the B5322 in a tiny layby between Threlkeld and Legbeth Weight. The layby's only big enough for two cars at an absolute push. We've walked up the road about 50 yards and then we took our first left, which has put us on the old coach road. We're going to head up Clough Head today via an interesting little route called Fisher Wife's Rake. We come late in the afternoon, it's just after dinner. Uh, it's been pouring down all morning, so we thought we'd leave it later today. So far up the track towards the old coach road, you'll find this style on the right hand side. It's easy to miss. That's the one we're going to go over. It's another tough one if you've got a big dog. I've just had to lift Billy over it. The path's a bit sketchy, but it just heads straight up the hillside through hilltop old quarries. After the initial pull up from the stile, take a right. The path flattens off, follow it for about 50, 60 yards and then we're going to take this left which will take us in the direction of Clough Head. A little further up we have another style to cross. Come on Billy, come on lad, come here. And then one more gate and we're out on the fell side, above the fell wall. That's Fisher Wife Rake up there, you can just see it. That's where we're heading for, so we'll follow the wall for a bit. So we followed this tiny traverse path along the side of the wall down there. We've got high rig to our right. We're going to stay on this traverse path where eventually we should find a lone rowan tree which marks the start of the rake. There's the rowan tree. If you hit the gauze, you know you're in the right place. At the rowan tree, take a left and start heading steeply up. Fight your way through that big gauze at the bottom and fight your way up through this little rut or whatever you'd want to call it. And then head up through another little patch of gauze the path's very sketchy, but it is there.
at some point once you reach the bottom of the rake you're gonna have to turn left if you head too far to that crag in front of me where the tree is you've gone too far you need to be up here there's the rake just there so that's where you're heading So that's us almost up Fisher White's Rake. It's a tough route to find and it's a tough route to follow. So beware, you want nothing up here in bad weather. If you get into them crags to the left of me, you're gonna end up in serious trouble. We're gonna head up to a sheepfold now called Jim's Fold, then past Jim's Fold onto Cloughhead Summit. That's Jim's sheepfold. <coughs> Off we go to Clough Edge. Head summit 726 meters. It's a Wainwright, a Burkitt, a Hewitt, and a Nuttall. I think we might have a heavy shower behind us, so we've got a tiny little bit of shelter here on the summit behind the summit shelter. Uh, so I'm going to sit it out here for. 10 minutes and hopefully that shower will blast past me. Well, we 
we sat that shower out uh, but it looks like there's more coming in so we're just doing a short walk today we're going to backtrack to the call and then we're going to drop down the front of Clough Head back to the old coach road and the car it's brighter over there in the west but it's looking pretty bleak over there in the south Oh, it's nice to get out of that wind and rain so I'm just below Clough Head now heading back down the front of Clough Head I'll give you the pan round over there we've got the Eden Valley onto the Pennines in the distance we've got Sauterfell in the foreground here we've got Threlkeld Notch just below us which is a burkit but we're not going to go to the summit of it we're going to follow this path just below it uh, Behind Threlkeld Notch we've got Blencathra Behind Blencathra we've got Skidder And behind Skidder we've got the Coldale Fells, Grisdale Pike, Derwent Water there The path down from Clough Head via Threlkeld Knots brings us back down to the gate and the two stiles that we came through earlier and then we'll almost be back down to the car He's here waiting at the gate, look Caution, quarries That's why the gate had the sign on it you wouldn't want to cut over the fence and walk straight into the quarry, would you? So that's us almost back down now. Uh, Fisherwise break, yep. What a route. It's a tough old route. If I was going to rate it on a scale of one to five, five being hard, I'm going to rate it six. Yeah, it's one to be careful on. Here's the, uh, the rock star, Billy. Billy jumped it. <laughs> Good boy! Yeah, you're a good lad, aren't you? Don't underestimate that route. Fisher Wife's Rake. It's tough, like I said. Uh, these routes aren't like, you know, the likes of Jack's Rake or the Lord's Rake, things like that, where there's really well defined, clear paths. These lesser known routes are sometimes hard to find, especially when you're fighting in among gauze bushes and juniper bushes and crags where you know and you're on a footpath that's six inches wide with a big old drop off on one side we're almost back at the car now so i'm going to wrap my video up and say thank you for watching if you like my content please think about giving me a subscribe hit that notifications uh, bell for up and coming videos i post every week sometimes more sometimes twice a week so yeah thank you from me and thank you from the rock star